white guy. So I was just texting one of my old school best friends. I've talked about him before. Um, he's one of my friends who has some Marvel Legends. And I used to... He's really where I got started with Marvel Legends. But anywho... Um, just was texting him. And um, we are talking about... Because uh, I was going to come over sometime soon to see what Legends he had. And he said he would let me either have some or I could borrow a couple. But um... So I was talking to him earlier today, asking him what he had, because he hadn't been in his Legends collection in forever, and I haven't seen it in forever, but um, he got them out, and uh, he was looking through them, and he like gave me a list of all of them, and he said Luke Cage, and I was like, oh yeah, that's cool, I've got a couple of him, he's like, yeah, I really like him, he looks really nice, I'm like, um, too bad they didn't make his uh, pants blue, and he's like, well, I'm not sure if he was supposed to be wearing blue pants when he had the silver shirt on. And I just, like, stopped. And I was like, wait, what? And he's like, yeah, he's got on a silver shirt. And I'm pretty sure his pants weren't blue during that time. And I, like, nearly crapped my pants. <laughs> because I did not even know that my friend had this. But apparently, him and his dad back in, like, he said, like, either 07 or 08 or something like that. But it, it's been a couple of years. Um... Uh, back then, whenever it was, they went to a comic shop, um, one of their regular comic shops that they go to, and, um, they saw him in package at the comic shop, and apparently the shop didn't know what they had, because they were selling it for 20 bucks, so, um, and by the way, they like, uh, my friend and his dad, they like the Marvel Legends figures, but they were never really into it like I'm into it now, or like, other actual collectors are they would just grab some if they saw them they'd grab a select few if they thought they look cool and um my friend's dad's actually a luke cage fan and he saw the silver one and um he he recognized it because uh my friend's dad well yeah he's a luke cage fan so um my friend's dad decided to pick it up and um he picked it up for his kid because that's what he always did he would buy the figures and he'd give them to my friend and, um, my friend had opened it and, um, messed around with it for, like, however long. And then they had put it away with all of his other Marvel Legends. And it's been sitting in a bin for, since whenever that was. Like, a couple of years ago is when he actually, like, put them all in a bin. Um, and I had no idea. But, um, my friend said that I could have him, whoops, sorry to shake it up, guys. But my friend said that I could have him for free. Now, if you guys don't know, this figure is very rare. There's supposedly, like, only 12 of them out there on the planet. And, um, I, <laughs> I'm a little bit speechless. Because once I get this figure, that'll be the rarest figure I own. Like, bare minimum. That's definitely the rarest figure I will own. And, um... I don't know, it's just kind of crazy to me, because I've never owned a figure that rare. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Um, I mean, I trust this f my f this friend here with my life, and um, I really do believe him that they had gotten it at a comic shop mint. But I mean, like, I can't be positive. I still want to make sure he's real and everything like that. And to be honest with you guys, I might sell him, because I mean, that figure goes for a lot of money. And, um, I mean, I feel like I could probably just do a paint job over a regular Luke Cage and he would show up almost the same. Um, and that's, I mean, I don't even really want to do a paint job because I don't even know that version of Luke Cage. I mean, I know that he wore the silver around the same time that Iron Fist here wore the red, which I'm guessing was like the 70s or 80s, but I mean, I don't know otherwise. Um... I just know that the figure's rare. So I'll probably end up trying to sell him. Um, I posted on the ACBA group page just saying, like, what would you guys say if I was going to get the silver version of Luke Cage for free? And um, someone had given me the idea I should probably, if I do sell him, uh, hit up Solid. And I'll probably do that. I'll hit up Solid first. And um, if for some unknown reason he doesn't want him or something, I'll move on. But, I mean... I don't know, this this is going to be an amazing moment for me, just to own a figure that rare, even if I do end up getting rid of him. Um, so yeah, I mean, getting a rare figure is pretty amazing when you do, but uh, some of them, I mean, if, if I didn't know that the silver Luke Cage wasn't rare, like my friend didn't, if I had gotten him and I didn't know he was rare, I would have probably traded him or something like that. 
Because, I mean, from how I know Luke Cage in that era was the yellow shirt with the blue pants. I mean, this guy's not accurate, this Luke Cage right here. But, I mean, you know what I mean. The classic Luke Cage, the only way I know him is with the yellow shirt. So, I would have gotten rid of him. Or I would have even been stupid enough to have done a paint job over him. Which, I mean, if then afterwards I found out how rare he was, I would have been pissed. But, uh, yeah, guys. We'll see how things play through. Should be hidden, hanging out with my friend uh, within this week. Um, we're trying, right now it's uh, late Monday night, um, technically early Tuesday morning. But um, I'm going to try and hang out with my friend on um, Wednesday or Thursday. And if not, then we'll definitely hang out over the weekend. Um, but yeah, this has the potential to be amazing. Probably in my top five splinter cells of uh, X-Men right here. This is basically the team I had in my uh, little apocalypse display. Um, except there was also Gambit in there. And I really just put him in for a placeholder. Because uh, it seemed a little bit empty. And I need to add someone, but I don't know. But this is the core team that I really like. Package. All right, guys. So I opened up that package. The first one was from um, a guy in the X figure trading community by the name of Willie Lee, and he hooked it up with the uh, loose, uh, complete player one uh, Social Street Fighter eight on. Um, he did say this guy was in perfect condition, and this is torn. Uh, the plastic's torn there. Um, not really a big deal because it's an easy glue, but uh. Still. Um, but yeah, this figure's really nice. He's got a lot of nice shading on him. I prefer this head for any of you guys that think this one's better. I just think the face looks weird on this head. But yeah, and then also I got my prize from uh, Light 105's contest. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I did uh, get first place from my bracket. And um, what I was supposed to win was the uh, Deadpool, the Series 6 Min on Card Deadpool. But um, he did give me an option. I could get anything that he was offering. And I was thinking, I was going back and forth between this and the, uh, or actually I was going for back and forth between the uh, Face Off Punisher um, variant, which has got the white suit jigsaw, and the uh, Face Off Iron Man variant, which has got the red, uh, what's his face, and the uh, War Machine. But I decided, you know what, I don't have this face-off cap, and I really want him. Um, I probably could get him easier than those other two. But, I mean, I don't really, I'm not really digging those other two too much. Um, so, yeah, I really have it about this. About to crack this open in a minute. Get out my face-off cap and my red skull. Yeah. Alright, so I got these guys out of the package. These guys are so sick. I'm so happy to finally have Captain America. Um, you can see this pose on this hand. Um, the reason it's like that is it's stuck like that. When they originally did it, they didn't put this red part on. They didn't glue it on right. Toy biz I'm talking about. So the paint glue got into the joint, so his joint's kind of stuck right now. Um, but I could probably fix it. Um, I haven't spent much time on it. Um, but I'm really happy to have this cap. I mean, uh, as some of you guys know, I already had the face-off cap, uh, just not this version. I had the unmasked version. Um, both are good. I mean, this one's probably better just because I feel like you could probably use them in a lot more situations than unmasked Captain America. Um, but yeah, the other one's still pretty nice. This one's really cool, though. I really do like him. Um, the color seems a bit different to me, a little bit darker on the sky. But I haven't really compared them uh, next to each other at the moment. Um, now that I'm looking at this, I should probably change out the background. So you got the red skull, you got the red on caps uh, gloves, you got the red on the armor, and then you got the like red uh, cutout. So I'll probably change it for the picture that you're about to see. That's better. Straight pissed. So I finally took out my Giant Man series Thor out of this display, which you can't really see, but it's all a mess. Um, but I finally took him out, and um, I go to get him in a shop some, with the big three, and 
I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get you guys to see it. Especially not with one hand. Let me see. There it is. Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to see that. So yeah, he's broken. But uh, I can still use him for the most part. So that's good. Got this cover style shot going on. Not really worth breaking my Thor, but I mean, he still works pretty good for the most part. But uh, yeah, kind of. I'm okay. I'm decently happy with the shot. And I'm really happy with this Adon figure. Um, now Adon as a character, I don't love him very much. He's very strange. Very weird. He's got a strange facial expression, but I fell in love with uh, playing as him um, in uh, Super Street Fighter 4 primarily. It's when I played as him. I don't even know if he ever appeared prior to then. Um, but I really like to play as him, and I thought I might as well get him. Uh, and he's like one of the best Soda Street Fighter figures out there, in my opinion. He's got probably some of the best articulation on a Soda. Um, the only thing I really dislike about the articulation is the hips. You don't get a lot of movement out of them, which, I mean, this is Adon, so he should have a good amount. But, um, I am happy with him having, like, the double-jointed elbows. Those are pretty nice. Um, really easy to balance, as all these figures are. Like, I mean... Guile up on his toes. And also up on his toes. And they're not really resting on each other. Whoops. Um, yeah. Still up on his toes. Up on his toes. That's why I really like these soda figures. They're really nice. Um, some of them are better than some of the Marvel Legends out there. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, suggest that you guys get uh, this guy right here, the A-Down figure. He's really nice. Really disappointed about this. I was trying to get Adon coming down with a huge ass like axe kick on uh, Balrog here. But I mean, <laughs> that angle, first of all, I can't even really get far enough back to take the shot. Second of all, I mean, where I have the stand, there's nowhere I can really conceal it 100%. Because um, I mean, if I put in this hips, he'd be too high. Basically, I didn't have one that was the right length, but I mean, I just document that this is a boss little hit right here. X kick, motherfucker. NSA, bitch. This took me uh, a lot. It was actually a lot quicker than I expected it to be. I got him into the pose, just swapped out the background. He fell, put him back in. Put on the cutout, and he was all good. See, this figure's beast. Great posability, great balancing. If his legs could get a little bit closer, that would have been sick. But uh, still happy as hell with it. Oh my god, I actually got this ish NSA. No stands, no string anywhere. This took a minute. I had a stand just sitting there. Trying, but there's nowhere to put it, and I I actually got it. NSA. Unfortunately, it does look kind of like he's punching at his crotch, but whatever. Um, yeah, this took a minute. Balrog, his legs just are always every Balrog figure has like the loosest legs, just because he's such a huge figure. He was a pain in the ass. He was more of a problem than Adon was. I like this one. How you get that little angle under his arm. Staring at Adon. I like the way I got Adon too. He got his fist covering up his mouth. So from certain angles you can't tell that he's got that like weird ass smile. I mean you can't see his face too much from right here. But you get the picture. Alright so I just did a head swap of my face off Punisher. For a series 4 Punisher head. And um. The reason I did this originally is because this, here's the face off head, like just look how small it is. It's way too small for the body and um, it's also just kind of an ugly head, like look at it, ugly. So um, 
that's why I want to do the head swap, although the problem is um, his neck is really short now. Um, I still like him to some extent. He's good for a couple of shots, I guess. Uh, but yeah, you get the point. <laughs> 